Hi everyone, I'm Taylor. Today we're talking about CPAP therapy. You're probably at least familiar with the term CPAP, but how does it actually work? We'll discuss the various components of CPAP therapy and how they work together to improve nighttime breathing for people with sleep apnea. But first, let's talk about what sleep apnea actually is. Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder that causes you to temporarily lose your breath during sleep. This can cause you to wake up choking or gasping for air, but even if you don't wake up, your sleep quality can still suffer. People with sleep apnea can experience temporary loss of breath more than 100 times each night. If left untreated, sleep apnea and the poor sleep quality it causes can take a major toll on your physical and mental health. There are two types of sleep apnea. The most common type is obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA. It's caused by muscles relaxing in the back of your throat, which narrow your airway and reduce space for air to pass through. The other type is called central sleep apnea, or CSA. This occurs when your brain can't communicate properly with the muscles that control your breathing. So CSA is essentially caused by a mental obstruction as opposed to the physical one like an OSA. While CSA is less common than OSA, CPAP can be used to treat both types of sleep apnea. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Air Pressure. Let's break that down a bit. Pressurizing air makes it blow more strongly indirectly. When pressurized air enters the breathing passages, it promotes stronger airflow and better circulation. Positive air pressure means air within a certain contained structure is at a higher pressure level than the air surrounding that structure. And with continuous positive air pressure, that air is pressurized at a single fixed level. What all this means is that CPAP therapy delivers air at a fixed pressure level, and that air, contained inside a CPAP machine, has a higher pressure level than the air outside of the machine. So we know the basics of how CPAP therapy works, but there's more to it than just the CPAP machine. CPAP therapy consists of three major components. As we mentioned, the CPAP machine draws in air and pressurizes it to a fixed level. There's also your CPAP mask, which fits over your nose and or mouth, creating a tight seal that prevents the air from leaking out. And finally, your CPAP hose connects the CPAP machine to your mask. Air enters the hose and travels directly into your breathing passages. There are different types of machines, masks, and hoses to choose from, and your doctor can help you pick out the right CPAP components based on your diagnosis. So now that we know how your CPAP machine and equipment work, how does all of this treat sleep apnea? Well, the pressurized air that CPAP therapy delivers helps to widen the throat promote stronger airflow, and improve breathing for people with obstructive or central sleep apnea. Since CPAP involves air with a continuous pressure level, your doctor will determine how much pressure is needed to expand your airway without causing pain, discomfort, and other issues. Generally, people with milder sleep apnea need less pressure than those with more severe symptoms. The machine is calibrated to only deliver pressure at the level your doctor prescribes. You won't be able to manually change it yourself, and you wouldn't want to anyway, because CPAP at the wrong pressure level can cause more problems and actually make your sleep apnea worse. So hopefully we've cleared the air about how CPAP therapy helps treat sleep apnea. Keep in mind, CPAP doesn't work for everyone and there are other treatment options available. Your doctor can point you toward the best treatment plan. But bottom line, if you have sleep apnea or you think you might have sleep apnea, you should speak to a doctor as soon as possible. To learn more, head on over to sleepfoundation.org and if you want to learn more about CPAP equipment, especially when it comes to choosing the right mask, we've got a video all about that right here. Thanks for watching and sweet dreams.